Hello everybody, welcome to Cat's Corner where today we are discussing Mean Girls by Michael Osto. For those of you who don't know, this book is literally the novelization of the movie Mean Girls and I don't know about you, but I love Mean Girls. I watch it like every few months or so. I was pretty excited when I heard that we were going to be getting basically Mean Girls in a novel. I don't really want to tell you the whole story about Mean Girls, but for those of you who have not heard of the movie Mean Girls, it is basically about this girl named Katie who moves from Africa to Illinois and she has to attend regular high school for the first time when she is 16 years old and for the past 16 years she's only been homeschooled and it's basically about the mean girls at her high school and how she deals with them I guess without saying any spoilers by the way this review is spoiler free I should say that now probably overall I thought this book was just okay I mean I already knew the story going into it really truly none of the issues I had with this book had anything to do with the actual like plot because I went into it already knowing what was gonna happen. I thought it was cool that we got some mixed media in there. Like we got some text messages here. I don't know if you can see that. Text messages here. We have some lists and stuff. I thought those aspects of the novel were really cool, but overall this book was okay to me. I wasn't a huge fan of the writing style. I would give this book like a three out of five stars. The fact that I couldn't really differentiate the different characters because this book changes its point of view a lot throughout the book and there were some characters that I had to go back to the beginning of the chapter and be like whose point of view am I reading again because I just couldn't tell them apart. I found Katie's point of view to be pretty annoying which is kind of ironic because we do get some of her point of view in the movie. Actually the whole movie is from her point of view. I found it to be very interesting that I couldn't stand her at all reading this book because I really enjoyed the movie so that was kind of interesting. I think the next time I watch the movie I may have different opinions on Katie than I did before I read this book. Honestly, Janice's point of view I felt was like a more sarcastic version of Katie's point of view. I couldn't really differentiate between the two and you're gonna hear me say differentiate between the two characters a lot. Damien's point of view was very similar to Janice's. Also, Aaron's point of view reminded me of Katie's and I couldn't stand him reading the chapters or the sections from his point of view. I hated reading Katie in Aaron's point of view. I didn't really mind reading Janice's point of view because she had some of that sarcastic humor that she does in the book or that she does in the movie and Damien's point of view was just okay. I don't really have any thoughts and I don't really know how to feel about it honestly. And then we have the three plastics. Gretchen's point of view is hands down my favorite in this novel. She was different from the others. I could immediately know whose point of view I was reading when it was Gretchen's chapter. I really liked her chapter which is so weird because Gretchen is one of those characters in the movie that is very 2D. It was hands down my favorite point of view in this novel and I kind of wish we got more of it. It was a lot of fun being inside the head of like the wannabe mean girl, the one that wants to be Regina but at the same time is terrified of her and it was really interesting reading her point of view. Then we have Regina and Karen. Once again, much like Damien with Karen's point of view, I don't know how to feel about it. We didn't get much of it at all in this book and I really couldn't tell it was her point of view until she spoke because none of that airiness that we get in her dialogue throughout the movie and the book never translated to her point of view and I kind of wish we would have had more of her spacey personality in her actual thoughts instead of just in her dialogue. Regina was like a mix of the two plastics except she was a bit meaner and some of her meanness was over the top. We all know Regina is the head mean girl and obviously she's mean but in her actual thoughts it was really over the top and I don't think like Regina would have constantly been making mean thoughts about everybody she walked by in the hallway all the time and that's kind of what this book kind of made her point of view be just walking by everyone and judging them and being mean I don't know she was like a really mean version of Gretchen and Karen combined I'm not entirely sure to feel about it I'm not a huge fan of her point of view at all like I said before overall I would give this book a three out of five stars Would I recommend it if you are a fan of the movie Mean Girls then I would recommend it because it's fun to see the thought process of some of our favorite characters but otherwise I don't think I would recommend it unless you are a fan of Mean Girls. Let me know down below if you've seen the movie Mean Girls or you've read the novelization because I would love to know and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every Thursday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! On Thursdays we read books.